cocktail shaker. I'm working on the Monza. One of the bolts was loose and the cocktail shaker was clanking around. So I removed it and I just re-tapped the hole which was cross-threaded. This quarter panel was changed at some time in this car's 49 year past. You can tell because there's some brazing in the jam which should be spot welds. And if you look underneath inside the fender you can see where they hacked off the old quarter panel from the inner fender panel. And I can show you what that looks like a little bit. I did not want to bought the car but it was it looks good. You just if you look a little bit more carefully you can see where the fender's been hammered and brazed together. That bolt that I'm dealing with is way in there in the corner somewhere. It's a captive nut or a welded nut. Rust. Maybe I'll put on a Corsa grill, air grill, inside the fender. I don't know if you can see it from here, but all in there. It's a little mangled. Seen worse. I'll live with it. I'm not pulling off the quarter to redo it properly, but you can't tell from the exterior. It's a brand new quarter, but just the way it's fastened is not quite perfect way down in there. That's a mess right there. They hacked off the old quarter and cut it, air chiseled. Anyhow, so I just re-tapped the threads on that welded nut. And it's annoying because they're square drive, these things. If they were octagonal, you could put a socket on it. But I've got this adapter from my metric set. And I put that in there, but it's still loose. And then I put a that goes in the other direction. Then I put a one inch socket on that. But it runs like a cam in a, on an eccentric. Because there's four holes for four different size taps. Big, medium, small. So use a one inch socket with a half inch to three eighths adapter and anyhow I got the job done, I think. So I'll try to put this thing back in there now. This cocktail shaker which absorbs the vibrations and the harmonics that the late model Corvair convertible has. You got these really heavy cocktail shakers. Each one weighs, oh boy, oil filled lead weight. There you they are heavy. Whoa, I better lift this thing up. This is heavy. There. Each one weighs, I'm guessing, 35, 40 pounds, maybe 50 pounds, 20, 20 kilos, 25 kilos, something like that. They are heavy. There's oil inside. And a weight floating around to absorb harmonics. Oh boy. I'm going to drop this thing and regret it. Put the camera here. And I'm going to lift this thing. And plop it into place. It bolts down to the, I guess, the engine compartment floor behind the battery. All four corners have them. Two go into the floor. And one goes into a bracket hanging off the quarter panel reinforcement. You can't really watch it because I can't hold the camera like this. I've only got two hands. I ain't no octopus. And there's one bracket right there somewhere. Alrighty, we'll fix her up. Oh, it's a pleasure if I get it done this properly. Ratchet that down with my ratcheting wrenches that are always on sale at the flap for half price. Not as good as my buddy. 4x4 Bronco who got free oil after a rebate or whatever the special offer was. You could use it now in this oil guzzler. I don't know how tight I can make these because I cut the threads with that tap so they're somewhat compromised but like I said before one bolt was in at an angle it was the wrong bolt it was a giant washer head 
a star washer head bolt. That's tight enough. And it was in at an angle and the cocktail shaker was banging around. It's bad enough I've got a dead engine mount that's sitting on the frame running vibration through the car. I've got a better engine mount but I have to have it sandblasted and painted before I put it together. Alrighty. One more little bracket up here. We'll be done.